So how'd you get into the towel business? I needed a job. <laughs> really? So what were you doing? Uh, I, well, I've been in the apparel industry for about 30 years uh, as a decorator and uh, running companies of uh, different sizes and uh, mostly and always in apparel. And so I had an opportunity to uh, uh, join Pro Towels, which is in the promotional products business doing uh, uh, top promotional products, towels, beach towels, golf towels, yeah. all kind of towels. And we also are a contract decorator. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of both. Got it. Yeah. So you said you needed a job, so were laid off before? Or well, was... I'd, I'd been with, uh, prior I'd been with Fruit of the Loom, and I'd always been uh, familiar with the folks at Pro Towels, uh, which is close to where I live in Anderson, South Carolina. They're located in Abbeville. Okay. South Carolina is where their main facility is, and so we've kind of been in, on each other's radar. And uh, I was with uh, Fruit of the Loom at Russell for two years, um, I was running their decoration uh, facilities in uh, Honduras and in um, and in Mexico outside of Chihuahua. So what's, I hear a lot about Honduras. A lot of people have facilities there. Why, why Honduras? Um, closer, um, you know, you don't have to put anything on the ocean, so it's, it's, it's what they call near shoring. It's closer to the oh, okay. market. And uh, a lot of textile, a lot of manufacturing down in the, in, Hunt, in Central America. So it's quick to get the manufacturing to the point to decorate. Yep. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, sometimes it'll still go on a boat, but it's, it'll come into Miami or into uh, like Houston, and so it's a lot closer. Okay. Coming all over the Gulf. So, Chad was chatting with the Pro Towels guys. Then what? Well, I left Fruit because they decided to uh, actually get out of decoration, which they which they finally did. Ultimately, uh, as of today and, and recently, they um, licensed all their Russell sportswear to uh, to two other companies. So they completely got out of the decoration. And so I was, uh, so I left uh, on really good terms, and they, they made a nice um, arrangement um, for me to leave. And uh, I called Pro Towels, and they said, "When can you start?" So we started uh, about two years ago, 2017, and I started with Pro Towels. Right. And so, what's your role at Pro Towels now? Uh, Pro Towels, I'm the COO, and over the facilities in in Abbeville, South Carolina, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and another one of the Pro Towel family of companies is Canada Blanket Company located in Vancouver, Canada. So, to give us a sense of the scale of the towel space and how, uh, and how much you guys affect it, I mean, is there a sense of the size that the you know, towels is? There's probably three major uh, players in that space. It's, uh, there's towel specialties, Terrytown, and one's on the East Coast, one's on the West Coast. We cover, we serve both. We have a facility in you know, the West Coast and the East Coast. So, so it puts us in a good position as far as inventory, supply chain, and being able to uh, ship you know, pretty much anywhere within you know, one to two days. Got it. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so those are the three major players. And, <coughs> and we probably have <coughs> a good percentage of the market share, but we you know, <coughs> it's kind of spread between those uh, three companies. How many folks work at Pro Uh We have 130 in Abbeville, roughly. And it gets more during our business season, which is now because the beach towel season, which runs yeah. about March to August. So we may go as many as 150 when we bring in you know, more people to get through the busy time. Vegas is pretty steady at about 60, and Vancouver is about 40. Wow. So almost 300, yeah. So, I mean, what's unique? Obviously, the towels are way bigger than a t-shirt. So we're talking more bigger screens. Yeah, uh, 40 by 80 inch screens. Um, we run for the beach towels. <coughs> Obviously, you know, golf towels we can print on the circles on a rotary press. Sometimes, <coughs> um, if it's uh, if it's on a white towel, because it's all water based on the towels. Uh, so if it's on a white towel, we can print uh, six up on a belt, sure. which is which is very efficient. Uh, otherwise, at Beach Towel, we run about a 25 by 50 inch decoration area. Uh, screens are about 40 by 80 inches, and we run them on black belt. The big wide, six, the big wide black belt. Got it. Wow. Yeah, it's massive. We normally do like 10, 11, 12. I know. Sorry. Uh, I started. <laughs> this is Rafa. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah. yeah. towels? Yeah. Really? I used to print towels for guests. Yeah. And where at? Yes, in downtown LA. Oh, really? This is Rafa. He's at Nike. Yeah. I'm going to get you next. Get ready, Rafa. 
That was um, rough. So what do you feel like is the biggest challenge with just growing the business? Or well, you're, since you're focused on the operational side, how about on that side? What, what, do you, what keeps you up in that? Um, a lot of it is minimizing the downtime, you know, just to be as efficient as you can, especially when you're when you're running towels, it's all water-based, and, and because of the size and the print area and the size of the screens and the images, you know, you're mixing up five gallons of ink at a time, and while water-based is certainly less than, than plastic salt. Five gallons? Yeah. Wow. We brought in some, some you know, ink suppliers that were able to provide um, uh, mixing systems, formulas, recipes, so we could pretty much hit our colors and, uh, and you know, the screens <coughs> need to be prepared with, you know, <coughs> so they don't break down in the press, because, you know, once you set up a big black belt to, to do any kind of a run, our runs are anywhere from, it could be as low as 24 pieces on a towel up to two, 3,000 at a time. So many times we'll have many setups and changeovers during the day um, or through, you know, through the course of the shift. So it's, it's really about just getting everything ready to make sure the art's right, the inks are right, the screen hold up, and just getting as many setups and turnovers as you can. All right, especially for the higher qual quality and yeah. water base. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds difficult. Yeah, it's it's a challenge. In fact, some of the guys here that we've been um, you know with on this summit have told me, and, and so many are Protel's customers, which has been great. So yeah. that that uh, that's been nice to connect with some of them, and they actually um, tried to print towels, even on a golf towel, and sure. they just weren't successful. So they ordered the towels from us because we'll sell blanks, of course, to some of the decorators. But they uh, they said, no, you guys go ahead and print them for us. Handle it all. For us. Yeah. Because it's, it's different than printing on a t-shirt because of the, the pile, you know, the, the terry. Of right. the yeah. So it's water-based, are there any other types of decoration that's done on the towel? <clears throat> Embroidery, uh, absolutely. We also do uh, dye sublimation on a poly cotton towel. So how does that work? Uh, well, it's just like dye sublimation, and, uh, but the towel has, it's a combination of like a microfiber, sort of a polyester finish on one side with a cotton on the other, so it's a blend, and it allows you to dye sublimate. So we do a lot of that where we can actually print photographic images um, on the back, and then they can actually use the yeah, other yeah, side. Yeah, and they can use it. It's still very absorbent as a, as a, as a beach towel or, or golf towel, whatever the, whatever the size towel it is. Yeah. That's very interesting. So, so you manage all the different plants and facilities. Do you spend a lot of your day just with people and training people? Or? No, we, not so much. Um, I There was a, uh, a period where when I first came in to sort of um, look at the facility and, and, and get a better understanding of, of some of the strengths and weaknesses with both the facility as far as the process and yeah. some, of the, some of the staff <clears throat> and get things dialed in where um, you know, some of the improvements as far as mixing systems, um, <clears throat> automatic uh, screen coders and things like that to, to ensure that the, you know, the quality is good and that the, you know, like the, the, the inks are right and everything holds up. So, so <clears throat> it's a pretty good crew. They've been there a long time. When I came in, there, many of them had been there for over 20 years already, working operators. So, so then it's more of a matter of bringing in additional staff as, as you get into the busy time. So it's a pretty good crew. You know, they can pretty much know what they're doing. Got it. Yeah. So would you say that I mean day to day is your focus very heavily on in the actual supply chain and sure, or is it like focusing on the big orders making sure they're done correctly? Um, or is it like <coughs> optimizing the flow or inventory is a big part of the business because again it's <coughs> we don't have <coughs> we don't have the skews as far as so we're not as deep with skews as far as color size in apparel, but a lot of it is a, a forecasting for, for color a lot because a lot of what we do is uh, in addition to the beach towels we do a lot of rally towels which is the big uh, like for the playoffs for Major League Baseball for uh, NBA for the hockey playoffs and that's what they call the rally towel so that's like a, a 15 by 18 inch towel that they all you know, spin, around. spin around in yeah. the stadiums and, and the arenas. So we have a good <clears throat> part of that business but it's like you know you got to hope that the teams that you that you're working with or the, 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 the marketing companies, the, the promotional products distributors that have those relationships with the teams, uh, which is how you know we, we work through those channels, that the teams that they represent or that they work with um, win. And if they continue to win, it's like another round. So every time they win through the playoffs. So a, a lot of it is... Uh, Making sure you have enough gold towels for it's a quick turnaround, or, or green towels, or, or you know whatever the team color is, and again it becomes sort of an inventory issue. So we import everything from India, China, and uh, Central America, and you just always hope that you've got enough of the right color at the right time to stock it. 
Now, are you doing it for both teams, so either or, so it's not both? We, or? we can in some cases, and sometimes ProTowels family involves the ProTowels business, which is our own product, uh, the towel business, yeah. and then we have Superior Decorating, which is a contract decorating part of the business. So, as an example, recently um, we had done we had done all the Bruins towels in the hockey playoffs up to the point when they lost. So we ended up doing a whole a lot of uh, T-shirts for the Bruins for the contract budget. So that is. Very cool. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, and, uh, the lot, that's a lot. That's like a hot market business too, because a lot of times you'll have to wait to see who wins, and then if they win, then you start right. running the process. At 10 p.m. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Anybody interesting? Or any books you read lately? Any books? Yeah. Uh, I do like to read, but not at this particular moment. I'm not involved in a book right now. Uh, yeah. So I'm kind of any maybe any like leaders or inspirational people you follow? No, not so much. I kind of, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people that I, I, I uh, enjoy, and I, uh, you know, but no, not, nothing that really comes to mind. Awesome. Yeah. That's Alan Benson with Pro Towels, everybody. See you over at Pro Towels. And if you ever need any towel needs, live from, live from Dimadis, Portugal. Hey.